According to a video published on Facebook, soldiers from the 45th Artillery Brigade of the Ukrainian Army have destroyed a highly regarded and advanced Russian Armed Forces air defense system, the Panzer S-1, which was heading towards Bakhmut. The Panzer S-1, also known by the NATO reporting name SA-22 Greyhound, is a combined short-to-medium-range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery weapon system produced by Russia. Its role is critical in protecting key military areas, industrial targets, and land troops. It also serves to reinforce the air defense units of other military branches and services. The Panzer S-1 is generally regarded as a potent air defense system. Its versatility is one of its standout features. It is designed to offer point air defense of critical installations against a variety of threats including aircraft, helicopters, drones, precision munitions, and even cruise missiles. This makes it highly effective in a wide array of scenarios, whether it's dealing with standard airborne targets or more sophisticated guided munitions. The system also boasts a high level of automation, which reduces the burden on the operator and can improve reaction times. Its radar system is capable of tracking both aerial and ground targets, providing broad coverage and situational awareness. The Panzer S-1's armament consists of 1257E6 surface-to-air guided missiles and 22A38 and 30mm automatic cannon guns. The missile system provides the Panzer S-1 with a long-range interception capability of up to 20 km in distance and 15 km in altitude, while the cannons are designed for closer-range targets, up to 4 km in distance and 3 km in altitude. The 57E6 missile is a two-stage solid-fuel rocket with a high-explosive fragmentation warhead and a contact and proximity fuse. The two 30mm autocannons can fire a variety of rounds, including high-explosive fragmentation and armor-piercing, at a rate of 2,500 rounds per minute. The Russian Panzer S-1 air defense system is equipped with a sophisticated radar and optical control system that enables it to accurately detect, track, and engage both aerial and ground targets. The radar system on the Panzer S-1 is a multi-mode adaptive system. It includes a target acquisition radar that operates in the E-band, this phased array radar is crucial in providing initial detection and tracking of various targets. In addition to this, the Panzer S-1 also has a target tracking radar, which operates in the J-band. It's used for continuous tracking of targets and missile control. These radar systems work together to provide the Panzer S-1 with a comprehensive and versatile tracking system. The radar system's engagement envelope typically covers 360 degrees in azimuth and 82 degrees in elevation. The radar is designed to detect targets at ranges up to 36 kilometers and altitudes up to 15 kilometers although the specific range can depend on the size and speed of the target. In terms of engagement, the Panzer S-1 is designed to engage targets at ranges between 1.2 and 20 kilometers 
and at altitudes between 0 and 15 kilometers using its missiles. For closer threats, the system's twin 30mm cannons can engage targets up to 4 kilometers away and at altitudes up to 3 kilometers. The Panzer S-1's radar and engagement capabilities are built to work in conjunction with each other to provide a highly responsive and effective air defense system. The system can operate in all weather conditions, day or night, and has robust defenses against electronic warfare and countermeasures, 